Hi guys, my name is Lauren. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look. This is going to be uh, a look that I'm potentially going to be using for my engagement photos coming up soon. I'm also going to show you a few different uh, new products I'm going to be trying out today. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Today I'm testing out how I'm going to do my makeup for our engagement pictures. The first thing I'm going to start with is my brows and I think I'm going to test out today. I just got um, from Benefit the Brow Contour Pro and this is what it looks like. So it's four different shades in one. But the only thing I'm not so sure about is that this doesn't come with a spoolie. So I'm just going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz. So it has a lighter shade, a deeper shade, which I think it should be lighter at the front, deeper at the tail. And then it has two different um, shades that are highlighter and definer. So I'm going to start with the lighter shade. Okay, so I'm just going to start brushing some little hairs at the front. Start giving it some shape. For pictures, I really want to make sure that I have a nice arch in my brow. I think that's going to look really nice. It really helps to define your eyes. Okay, I'm going to switch to the deeper shade and start bordering out that tail. Back in with the light. Don't want any sparse areas. I'm going to go in with the definer shade and kind of line it out, clean it up a little bit anywhere we may have gone outside of the line. Then finally we have the highlight shade and this is going to go on the brow bone. And now I got this in the shade Blonde Light, but I almost kind of feel like this is even a little dark for me. But I guess we'll see once we go in with foundation and everything. And I'm just going to brush that back out with the spoolie. Okay, so I think it's a nice product. I like the texture of it and everything. I think it'll just be something to get used to. It's a little bit thicker than the Brow Wiz, which I always use. And the fact that it doesn't have a spoolie on the end is a little bit inconvenient. Okay, but I am just going to go ahead and set this with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm actually going to start with my eye makeup first. So I really want to have for the pictures have a nice defined line. I'm going to do a little bit of a wing liner. Um, so I'm going to use a piece of tape, just regular scotch tape on each side. And this will help keep those lines sharp. So corn, uh, angle it kind of up from your lower lash line up towards the point of your brow. And instead of eyelid primer, I prefer to use a concealer for that. So I'm going to be using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Vanilla. On my finger. This will just help to cancel any of those veins that we have. Any redness. Now I want to set down that concealer we just put. I'm going to go into my old um, favorite. This is the Smashbox Shape Matters palette. Uh, I think this is probably the first palette that I bought. I'm just going to use the brush that it comes with. And I'm going to use this matte vanilla shade and set down that concealer. Next, I'm going to use this shade right here, the color Stripped, and we'll start defining the crease. I'm going to use this crease brush from IT Cosmetics. 
So my fiance Spencer and I are getting our engagement photos done in about two weeks. That's why I wanted to start testing out what kind of look I'm going to do for that. We're actually doing them on the beach in Ocean City, which I think will be really fun. Uh, both of our families have houses down there. Um, it's somewhere we've both been going since we were young. I think it'll just be really, really pretty. I got a long flowy white dress as one of the outfits that I'm going to wear. And then I also got a, a white crop top with an ivory tulle skirt. That'll be really pretty blowing in the breeze on the beach. Next, I'm going to take deep purple shade. This is called Aubergine. Take a little bit on that same brush. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to start defining the outer V with that. I want to have a nice defined eye, but I don't want to do something so smoky so that my eyes look really closed off in the photos. Just going to build this color up gradually. And start dragging a little bit into the crease. So I just cleaned off that brush. I'm gonna go back in with that same strip shade just to blend that together, soften those edges a little bit. Okay, next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little bit of a more precise brush. This one is just from e.l.f., it's just a little bit smaller. I'm going to take a little bit of this black shade called Blackout right here and deepen up that outer V a little bit more. Now once again I'm going to go back in with that strip shade and blend out that black a little bit more too. Now that I'm pretty happy with that color that I've built up in the outer V there, I'm going to go back in with the vanilla shade to kind of brighten up that lid. We really want our eyes to pop in these pictures. See how that just brightens it up a little bit more? I'm also going to take a little bit of that vanilla shade and put it right under that brow bone. Give a little bit more highlight there. Now that we have the shadow on our lids done, I'm going to take the NYX Liquid Black Liner and I'm just going to do a wing with this. And now that we have that tape on there already, it's going to make it really nice and easy to get a sharp wing. Now we can go ahead and take the tape off. You can see we have a nice sharp line now. Now we've got the wing on the other side done. I think they're hopefully fairly even. And so now we're gonna go ahead and start with the face makeup. I'm gonna start with two of my favorite primers. The first one being the Smashbox Primer Water. I'm gonna just spray this. And then I'm going to take the uh, Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. This is just a deluxe sample size that I have of it, um, but I find it's really nice at keeping me matte. And this is just gonna go mainly in the T-zone, kind of smooth everything out. For my foundation today, I'm gonna be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. 
Uh, this is fairly new to me. I actually recently got a sample of it at Sephora. I wanted to test out certain foundations, trying to figure out what I was gonna use for this, um, these photos. This is what it looks like here. Really nice, has a pump. I got it in the shade Patagonia. And now this is what I had um, matched to me for being self-tan. You can see my face is uh, a little bit lighter than my neck here because I do plan on getting a spray tan prior to the pictures. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender. A few pumps there. You can see it's a little bit better now. Make my face match the rest of my body. And one of the reasons that I chose this foundation is because there is no SPF in it. So we don't want any flashback in our pictures. I'm actually gonna go in with a little more. I kind of have combination skin, so I like that this keeps me fairly matte but it's also not drying. So there's the foundation on. I think it looks nice and smooth. So we're ready to go in with our concealer. Today I'm gonna be using some of the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have this in the shade Swan. This is a little bit light for me, so I'm actually gonna mix this with some of my Tarte Shape Tape. I do wanna have a bit of a highlighted look, though. Under the eyes, center of the face. And I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. Just so that Born This Way concealer isn't so bright against my um, tan shade. Again, I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender and blend that out. I actually think these two concealers mix well together too. Or just to be careful, that's why the Beauty Blender's nice. It has that little point so we can be careful. We've already done our eye makeup there. Now that we have the concealer all blended out, I'm gonna go back into the Shape Matters palette and use this banana shade right here to set that concealer. And I'm using just a small tapered brush by e.l.f. And the reason why I'm using more of a banana powder is because I don't wanna get, again, any of that flashback. We're gonna put that anywhere we put concealer. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contour because we are doing this for pictures. I want my contour to stand out a little bit more than I normally would. So I'm gonna be using the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. And I'm just gonna go in right under my cheekbones, around the forehead. So I'm gonna go a little bit under the lip and around the jawline a little bit. Take a beauty blender again and just blend that out. I really like the color of this. It's nice um, and neutral, not too warm, not too cool, and it's also really easy to blend out. When you do uh, the contour at the cheekbone, you wanna kinda just push it up a little bit over that cheek so it kinda leaves down here highlighted. It's gonna make that cheekbone pop. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of a cream highlight as well. I'm going to use the Super Shock Cheek 
Highlight by ColourPop in the shade Smoke and Whistles. Really pretty pinky champagne shade. You can see it there. Really pretty. And I just like to take a little bit of this with my finger. Highlight that cheekbone. Kind of up around the temple a little bit. Really make it pop. Now I'm going to go back in and set the entire face. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Warm Light. And this is a powder that's specifically for, um, you know, photos, so there's no flashback or anything like that. There's no SPF. So I'm just going to take a fluffy powder brush. Again, this is from e.l.f. And just set everywhere. And to bronze up the face, I'm going to be using the Tantastic Bronzer by Marc Jacobs. Just going to go around the perimeters of the face, cheekbones. I'm also going to go in with a little bit of a shimmery bronzer. This is by Hourglass. It is called the Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is what the packaging looks like, and it's in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. Same brush. Just kind of add a little bit more. Kind of going over anywhere that the sun would naturally hit your face. Next, I'm going to be using this Tarte blush. This is in the shade Genius. Here's what it looks like here. Kind of a rosy mauve -y color. This I actually got in a holiday set. This is the brush that it came with as well. Brush that over the cheeks. For f getting your photos done, you might want to go a little bit heavier with the blush than you normally would. You want to make sure that stands out and you don't look washed out in the pictures. I'm going to blend that out with that Real Techniques brush again. Then I'm going to go back into the Shape Matters palette and I'm going to use the highlight shade in here. I'm going to be taking this fan brush by EcoTubles. You can just get this at Walmart. A little bit. This is kind of like a nice white gold color. I also like to do a little bit down the bridge of the nose, across the tip of the nose, Cupid's bow. And then this step is not necessary, but just because I love it so much, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter, um, the one with Amrezy. So reflective. Really pretty champagne gold shade. I'm going to give you a swatch of that. I love that. I'm going to go with a little bit of that. And for this, to make it more targeted, I'm going to use this small um, setting brush by Real Techniques. Just kind of top off a little bit of that. Really pretty. Blend that out just a little bit. To really brighten up the inner part of the eye, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder. This is in the shade 13. So I'm just going to take that on a small pencil brush. And you can see how much that brightens up the inner part of the eye. For my engagement photos, I really want to use some false lashes. So I'm gonna go in with these Ardell ones. They are the Faux Mink Wispies and the Demi Wispies. So I'll pop these on, I'll be right back. 
Okay, now lashes are on. So all I did, I just used my lash curler, got them a little bit curled. I also did a little tight lining underneath my upper lash line, which is a black eyeliner, and then stuck those lashes on, and then went back in and used the liquid liner again to fill in any gaps or where any of the white glue was showing. So next we can do our bottom lash line. I'm going to use a black, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Eye Pencil in black, and I'm going to do just like the outer two thirds of the lower lash line. I don't want to close off the eye too much. Then I'm going to take my NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Nude and do the inner third of the lower lash line to keep it bright in there. And I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash on my lower lashes. So now we're done with the eyes and all we have left is the lips. So I'm going to take my Lancome Lip Liner in the shade Natural Mauve, outline my lips, and then I also like to fill my lips in in case any of the lip color that we're going to use is going to wear off. And I might just overline my top lip just a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with the Tardis Lip Paint by Tarte. And this is in the shade Festival. I really like this because it's matte. So it dries down nice if you're going to be outside for pictures. Your hair won't be blowing and sticking in your lip gloss. But it's also comfortable. It's not too drying. Then for the final step for the lips, I'm going to take a little bit of the Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Melted Ice Cream. Just to give a little dimension to the lips, I'm going to put a little bit in the center. So now the lips are done and the final step is the setting spray. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay, so this is the final look. I really like how it turned out. I think the eyes are still nice and bright, but they have a little drama to them. It's going to look really nice in the photos. I really liked the, um, the NARS foundation. I would really recommend it. I think this is going to be a nice, even um, an everyday foundation, not just for photos or special occasions. And as far as the Brow Contour Pro, I like this as well. I think it's just going to be one of those things I have to practice with and get used to. But so I hope that you like this look. If you wouldn't mind um, liking and subscribing to this channel, uh, leave me a comment down below, anything you would like to see from me in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next one.